To tell the history of Ziga, we really have to go back to 2008. It was actually in the context of the election. I was working with the founders of Ziga and a radio producer, Ann Hepperman, on a project called Mapping Main Street. And what occurred to us was that Main Street isn't just some generic people or place, it's an actual real living location. The idea was to try and travel around the United States and then ask other people to also contribute to this map of all of these places. We saw many people participating in all different forms from photographs to stories on, posted on Vimeo um, that we wanted to kind of create a system that would allow others to create projects similar to this. It involved about 15 people. It was done in partnership with the Association of Independence and Radio and the the uh, Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And so it was in that context we imagined Ziga. A way for people to create interactive documentaries without having to program. To really just make the, the media and the material that is online now and the recordings that people are making around the world accessible to anybody and not just accessible but truly useful to make it possible for people to make new things out of them and to let people's creativity run wild online.